Hi, welcome to Chendu.org. In this video post, I would like to provide a short review of this awesome dashboard that has been prepared and shared with me by our reader Francis. Francis is a curious person. So what happened was, during this weekend, he landed on Chendu.org while searching for something and he ended up learning a whole deal of things about dashboards. So he put together all his knowledge and he applied it to his own work. He works in a travel and uh, hotel industry. So he put that uh, all the skills to that industry and then he prepared this awesome dashboard and then he shared it with me. Of course, his version had uh, slightly different colors and it has more original data. Well, I was totally blown away when I looked at his dashboard. There are two reasons. First reason being, he was so honest and he shared whatever he prepared with me. And the second reason is, he took just two days to prepare the dashboard. It would have taken so much more time and so much more learning for somebody to prepare a dashboard like this, but he spent very little time to do this. So I was really uh, you know, moved by what he did in the, such a short time and the way he presented it. So I asked him, is it okay if, he, if, if I can get a copy of this so that I can share it with our readers on Chendutro.org? And he was happy to help. So we ha I got a copy of the Excel file and I'm very glad to uh, look at it and I made some minor changes, mostly cosmetic. And then uh, I would like to do a video post explaining this dashboard to you. You know why it is really a very good dashboard and how you can um, learn from this so that you can apply it to your own work. The key things that you should observe is the header area. This is the header area. Rem see what things he has highlighted. He has used a dynamic uh, data validation filter or I think this was a filter or probably this is a form control to select the month for which the dashboard should be displayed. So based on the selection, the data changes for some of the charts, not all because some of the charts are showing for the last 13 or 12 months these charts and okay so that's the first thing then he highlighted some of the key KPIs for his own uh, job and his own industry for example room night and GOR I don't know what these things mean but they seem like the appropriate metrics for the job that he does and the audience of this dashboard and then this is pretty cool he used the concepts from our own tweet boards and he constructed three short text messages out of this whole analysis that he was doing in the dashboard. We need 22 room night per day to hit the target. That's the first thing. It hits the manager or viewer very clearly and tells them what needs to be done. And the second thing is sales are 53% down from previous month. This is again a short message that tells where things are. And then third one being work harder. Since the sales are down, we need to work hard. For example, if we change the data to, I guess, October, you can see that the sales are up 40%, so we can celebrate. So, very subtle, but then it works. Then what he has also done is, he has made a bullet chart to compare the performance of this year with respect to last year. And he used the incel bullet chart technique that I described in uh, a few years back. So again, uh, very, very uh, simple chart, but very uh, useful for a situation like this. Then all these are regular charts that are linked to either the month selection or they are drawn on their own. Here is something that is beautiful. You can uh, find out the cost per room night trend in various locations they operate. For example, in Japan or in Australia or something like that. Obviously, I asked him to mask all this data and make dummy numbers out of it. So none of this is original data. And this is again beautiful thing. What he has done is he listed the KPIs and he used our KPI dashboard tutorial, which was prepared by Robert. He used those concepts to prepare a sortable KPI table along with the color coding using conditional formatting to highlight values of KPIs that are below threshold. So you can sort it or you can, uh, some cases the KPIs or uh, the values do not vary so much, but you can change the sort order and things like that. So this is again a very simple uh, chart but it is applied very well to the dashboard. So this is a very well designed dashboard in my mind because uh, obviously I don't know his industry or I don't know what he does, but 
the way this dashboard is constructed and the way this dashboard communicates various critical things be it kpis or be it the performance or be it the trend of sales and momentum or room nights and analysis of how much uh, ANP was spent across various media obviously they may be doing some kind of advertising to uh, get more sales or something like that so this kind of uh, dashboard shows all the important things and shows them concisely neatly aligns them look at the way all these boxes are aligned to each other and you know everything is concisely fitting into one screen uh, and it communicates very clearly what needs to be done or what is the message for the manager so you can uh, also prepare similar dashboards uh, either by using the resources that are available on chendu.org or any of your favorite sites be it Peltier Tech or any anything that comes to your mind you can there is a lot of free material available out there so you can just pick whatever comes to your mind and put together something that is truly outstanding and then show it to your audience or make your boss you know totally impressed by what you can do with excel i was totally uh, happy to see this dashboard so that's why i'm doing a video post uh, which is not a usual thing for me <laughs> i hope you'll enjoy this uh, you enjoy this video post if you like the dashboard uh, drop a comment uh, appreciating francis and i'm going to provide a downloadable excel workbook of this dashboard uh, for reasons of privacy and other things i'm just going to lock it but uh, you can see the dashboard you can play with it you can change the data and see how things work and if you like it you can uh, prepare something on your own like this thank you very much for listening you have a great day bye bye